Hello, welcome back. This is my floss tube number two. This last couple weeks, I think it's been two and a half ish weeks, included even a trip to an LNS in Vegas while I was there for nail polish convention. So I have a little footage of my visiting Stitcher's Paradise in Vegas. I had a really lovely but very busy last couple of weeks. It included prepping for a convention where I was going. It's basically like a nail polish trade show for indie nail polish makers. I was going there as a maker and a shopper. But in this video, we're just going to talk and show cross stitch projects. Last week, I showed you like a few other things that weren't that were um, stitchy related, but not all cross stitch. Today I'm just gonna talk about cross stitch. So I'm gonna show you the whips that I have, the works in progress that I was working on the past two weeks, and then I'm gonna show you my haul that I did in the last couple weeks. Okay, so for the past couple weeks, I pretty much only worked on three things. I kind of, yeah, it was like divided into thirds. I wanted to get a little bit farther with my Dimensions Gold project that I'm experiment learning the parking method for my stitches. And so I'm going to insert a little clip right here of that and how far I've gotten. All right, so here's my start of the Dimensions Gold. It's called European Bistro. So as you can see, I've done one, two, three, four, five, and halfway through six. I'm going top left and I'm gonna go all the way across to the right and then come back right here and pick up there. So I linked in my last video about the parking method uh, for cross stitch. If you are interested in learning about that, you can go to that video and find that link that I made for you um, if you'd like to learn about this. So here is how far I have gotten on that. And I also put up on the screen a finished look at what the project's gonna look like when it's done. I am liking the parking method. Like I mentioned in the last video, I don't really love these giant Q snaps. They are not very handy for my little tiny short arms. If you're wondering, I am 5'4", and my arms are teeny tiny. Um, <laughs> so it's just a little bit tricky for me, but I'm, I'm enjoying the parking method as much as it's like, it's a new thing to try. I always like trying new things. Um, and it's not my favorite stitchy method, but I'm determined to do this whole project that way. The next project that I moved on to is my Frosted Pumpkin Little Red Riding Hood. Um, I think it's called a Sal. I think they're calling it a Sal. Anyway, stitch along. And I really, really love this project. You're gonna see how much I love Frosted Pumpkin here in a little minute. Um, but I would say that I am almost done with like the first section that they released. Obviously I'm way behind um, on, like if I were keeping up with it in real time from when they released it. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now. All right, here's what I've done so far on the Little Red Riding Hood from Frosted Pumpkin. I will put all links in the description bar below for you to go shop for these projects if you're interested <clears throat> in stitching them along with me. So I feel like there are like six different releases. So, so far this is the first one and then there are two more that go, they're, they're like one, two, three. And then I think there's like a bottom portion that's been released, or this would be the bottom, and then maybe like one after that. So I have only done a little bit. I'm not a fast stitcher. This is the very front of Little Red Riding Hood's hood. Um, but I'm having a lot of fun. I really like this fabric. I will link, um, like I said, to where you can go to purchase this. And it should, even if the kit is not currently available, I purchased the kit, like it came with all the floss and, it came with all the things. Um, there, there are my makeshift floss drops, but it came with all the thread and everything, which makes it really, really easy. Um, but you could certainly um, go get your own fabric. I think this is 14 count Ada, I think. Um, so it's a little bigger than I prefer. But the other nice thing about buying the kit is like they've already got it stitched up here so that you know, you're gonna, have a little bit easier time, so I'm really enjoying that. My third whip is a new start. I'll probably have at least one new start 
in every video for a little while since I'm just getting back into stitching and watching a lot of floss tube and just reinvigorating my love for this hobby. And this was so cute when it arrived. This would have been in my haul section, but it was so, so cute that I just had to start it. And then my third whip is of the Halloween calendar from Tiny Modernist. So I've been working on this portion up here. I have finished this block, almost done I think with this block and started on here, a little tiny bit of that. So it is going to be so cute. Let me show you the whole thing. I love this. I also learned something new about myself stitching this project. So usually I, not all the things I've stitched in the past have been full coverage, certainly not, but a lot of them have been full coverage. I am enjoying so much having like all these little motifs. It has been so super fun. So um, yeah, if you love Halloween, I totally, oh, look at that cauldron right there. Oh, I totally love it. Like every, every square has something else for me to appreciate. There's also, um, let's see all of the, all of the, um, materials you need are on the back here. So there's only this many flosses. So it's not a ton of floss either. And it's very, you know, we've just got our black, purple, green, and yellow. Well, we do have some orange, but it's like, it's really samey. So I just have been finding this super, super pleasing. <laughs> Look at this devil at the very bottom. And then boo. So anyway, I'm really loving this. This is making me excited to try more things from Tiny Modernist as well. So I will link this below. I think I got this at Fat Quarter um, Shop, which is where I, um, I bought a couple of other things from them at the same time. So let me show you how far I got. I still have it on the, um, on the ring here. So like I said, finished day three and then um, made my way down here. That's not quite done. So, cause I am the type of stitcher who usually when I'm not doing the parking method, I like to use up the color and then move on to the next, whatever next color I'm feeling. Like I, I don't really force myself to do in any kind of form. I just do a color and then pick another color, whatever I'm feeling like, so. This is what I've done so far. This is gonna be a big project. I'm using this lovely, um, this is called, the fabric is this. Fiberlicious Once in a Blue Moon. This is 18 count Ada. Um, I have always been an Ada stitcher, but recently I purchased some different fabrics. So I'm gonna be trying some other linens and I'm excited about that. But I much prefer 18 to 14. In fact, 18 is even a little big. So in any case, that's what I'm using. So I took this with me to Vegas. I only worked on it for a few hours on the way down, not at all while I was in Vegas, and then maybe like one hour on the way back. So I didn't get a lot done. I'm not a fast stitcher, by the way, guys. I don't know if you're noticing that. I have a lot of um, things going on. I'm always busy doing something. I don't have a ton of stitchy time, but when I do get to take some downtime and stitch, I really, really enjoy myself, but I'm not speedy. All right, so those are my whips. Everything else that you saw that I started last week, I didn't work on it at all, or two weeks ago, I didn't work on it at all. Okay, so next I'm gonna talk about the things that I purchased in the last couple weeks, and I'm really excited to start some of these. Okay, so like I mentioned, I did snag um, that Tiny Modernist from Fat Quarter Shop, and so I also grabbed a few other things while I was there. I decided to try one of the Cottage of the Months and see if it appeals to me. I think that it will because it's another tiny little, like its own little motif. You can stitch them all on the same project or you can do them all separately and frame them separately, which is probably how I will do it. And then just you can take the work out of the frame maybe and just find an interchangeable way to finish it. So this is from Country Cottage Needlework, and that's May Cottage. So I have a bunch of things from Country Cottage to share with you right now. I also picked up this little project, woo, called Be Thankful. And I just think it's really beautiful and sweet. And will make a great display for Thanksgiving. 
Next, I picked up this for Christmas time. I wanted to give myself like a few things that were small that I could have as new starts that go for a few different seasons. So for unto, for unto you, for unto you is born this day in the city of David, Savior, which is Christ the Lord. So that is special to me, and I think that it's really cute. So this one's called The Nativity. And I got all of these things I'm showing you right now from Fat Quarter Shop. I will link it in the description bar below. This one would be for July, My Country Tis of the Sweet Land of Liberty of the I Sing. And it's called My Country. Also from Country Cottage Needleworks. And I also picked up this. Let's see if I can get it. Happy Halloween. This is a pattern I bet you've seen around a lot. Primrose. Primrose Cottage Stitches, and even more simplified color palette there, but I just love Halloween. I don't think I could have enough Halloween projects to work on. If you're wondering what's on my nails, by the way, um, I am a nail polish swatcher on YouTube besides owning my own nail polish brand, and so I have a few things that I just, just swatching for a video. It was actually for a Moonshine Manny video. I also only really ever swatch my left hand. It's rare to see me with both of my hands swatched, as you can see here, because my right hand is my dominant hand, and this is the one that I use to, I take my acetone and take off my polish when I'm ready to swatch the next thing. So it just instantly takes off the polish on this hand. I could get it like, I could put gel polish on, I suppose, but I just don't want to spend the time doing it. So that's why you only ever see me and I have a different color. Well, these two are the same um, on every nail usually too, because I'm swatching all the things. So these are a bunch of Moonshine Manny polishes here. <clears throat> and then I have these two polishes are part of the duo that I have with Clarissa Carroll coming out on April 11th. I'm inspired by the book um, that goes, as long as I'm living, my baby will be. So if you want to learn more about that, there's a video on my channel for new releases from Moonshine Manny. All right, this next package is kind of a, a little bit of a random assortment of some stuff that I picked up in an Etsy shop. So it looks like I purchased this from Floss and Fabrics and I grabbed this 28 count Lugana in Cauldron, which I will spread out and show you a little bit better. And then I am just kind of like building up my flosses that aren't DMC. So I got a few from Classic Color Works so I first picked up Tropical Paradise, which looks like this. I just love these variegated over dyed threads. Then I also snagged Copper Penny. I just wanna give myself some options in my stash so that if I want to use a different thread than just DMC, I can grab that. So we have Crab Cakes. Then we have Little Pink Peony. And then the last one I grabbed was Cappuccino. So I picked this up purposely for potentially another Halloween project. And it has this really interesting rusty staining. I'm wondering if I would like the project I showed you guys in the last video, the one with the Halloween sign from Primitive Hair on this. So it's like a lovely lilac. It's actually pretty similar to this color on my nail here. And then like you saw, it has this rust color on it. So that's cool. Okay. I randomly picked up two dimensions kits from eBay. Wow. I'm not getting a very good angle here. So this first one is called Holiday Village. There we go. So I just grabbed this from eBay. I did not need it. I was waiting a really long time for that one, that order from Joann's. It got it got delayed and I was like, man, I really want to try the parking method. So I picked up this in case it like never came and then it came like the next day. So, so I have this, who knows when I'll ever start this. And then this project I saw on a floss tube channel and fell in love with it. I just think it's so cute. I really love the color scheme here. And I think this would be really fun to have up all year round. So this is another dimensions kit. It is called Illustrated US. It is on 14 count um, Ada, and I doubt I'm going to enjoy that. I think it's gonna make it way too big. So I'm gonna probably end up changing, as you know, the kits come with all the stuff you need, and I will probably end up changing out this fabric. 
So just getting into floss tube, you hear everybody talking about Picture This Plus, so I wanted to try some of their fabric. So I got this one, Shadow. This is another 28 count Lugana. I think I recently um, picked up, they say all of our base fabric is from Zweigart. I recently um, snagged some 32 count Lugana, I think. So I'm gonna try and see what I like. So I have that purple piece that's very Halloween-y. This is also very Halloween-y. So I guess I just need another Halloween project, don't I? Anyway, this is cute. It is called, what did I say? Shadow, this is Shadow. 28 Count Lugana. This is from Spun Sugar Quilts is the Etsy shop that I got this, but it's a picture this plus. All right, so I told you guys I like the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I purchased their Under the Sea Stitch Along. Um, it's a mystery, so if you didn't get that from when I was explaining about the Red Riding Hood, I probably didn't say it well enough, but this is the Under the Sea, so I just barely got my first clue the other day and I haven't started it yet because I was waiting for the kit to come back in stock. So they give you the kit. Um, this is Nessie. Picture this plus. Oh shoot, it's eight of 14. I definitely didn't want 14. Well, I bet that the, at the time the linen was out and it's funny because when I was at Stitcher's Paradise, they had this Nessie um, and I could have just got it there, but oh well. Oh well, oh well. I think I'm stitching the Red Riding Hood on um, 14 count as well, so they'll match. So right now I'm gonna insert a video of my little trip into Stitcher's Paradise, which was way too short. My kids were with me, so I was being rushed to go fast. I could have stayed in there at least another hour. I was probably as it was only in there for like 25 minutes, but for my family it was way too long. So I will show you my footage. All right, so like I said, I was there for a nail polish convention. Um, I really could have bought a lot more than I did, but I decided not to because I was heading to shop for nail polish. So I picked up one pattern. This is so cute, and I don't have a specifically summer pattern yet. This is Summertime, designed by Lindsay Waite, and this is from Primrose Cottage Stitches. So this is so pretty. Love all those colors. All right, so I got two fabrics. Here is their info, by the way, if you wanna check out Stitcher's Paradise. So I grabbed Overdyed Linen, Picture This Plus 28 Pewter in the color Pewter. So this is this, it's like a teal leaning, very pale gray. But it definitely, like on the modeling and everything, it's leaning teal. So the whole thing, I, I don't think of this as Pewter. It's a very, very soft teal. And then I guess I decided to get some more Ada. So dang it, I don't have any 32 count. Maybe I have done, maybe I have purchased some elsewhere and it's not here yet. Anyway, this is in the color Shale and it's very pretty. It's like a very soft um, plum, like where the last one was barely teal, this one is like barely plum. So really, really into this. Don't know what I'm gonna stitch on it, but I'm gonna love stitching on it the whole time I'm doing it. So. 
that's very exciting. If you have any suggestions for me for what project should go on what fabrics, I would love to know your suggestions. Now that you guys are seeing everything that I'm hauling, I picked up some more um, floss, this time from the Gentle Art. So I snagged the shade Cinders. This one I'm obsessed with. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. This is the first one that I grabbed. I was like, oh, that. Um, I think I actually like the Gentle Arts coloration on their shades a little bit more even than Classic Color Works. This is Tortoise Shell. This is so pretty. It's golden and olive and a little bit brown. Oh my gosh, so pretty. This next one is called Vintage Lace. Wow. I mean, really, I just wanted to buy all the floss when I was in there, but I didn't. This next one is Moss. And they had so much stuff in there, you guys. As you saw from my video, there was so, so, so much stuff. So, oh, it's so pretty. Then I snagged a neutral. This is Trade Wind. I love this. It's a little bit peachy and a little bit bone in there, but mostly beige. Oh, it's so, so pretty. And then lastly, I got Schoolhouse Red. This is much brighter red than the first one I showed you. So that's everything that I purchased at Stitcher's Paradise. All right, the next purchase that I made was a digital purchase. I want to show you the uh, Etsy shop. It's called Cross Stitch Obsession. And this maker posted some images of her models of these creations that she has on Cross Stitch Unlimited. So if you want to join that group, it is very inspiring. So you can see how small they are. They're very, very small, but they are of famous works of art. So you can stitch up your own little Mona Lisa. It will fit in your hand. And her picture that she posted of all of these things together, I was just like, oh man, I can't find the post right now, but I'm um, in the Facebook group, but you can imagine looking at all these things. So I think I purchased like six of these and I'm very excited. I don't know what I'm going to start with first. I will probably start with the Monet because I love Monet, but um, I got from, I think, six different artists. So... I was super tickled with this. I got that one too. I was super tickled with this um, person's work. It's so, so fun. And as you can see, they're only $4 a piece. Digital download. They're going to stitch up really quickly. So I'm really excited about that. That is pretty much my floss tube number two. So I hope that you're having a fantastic week. It's getting very springy here, although we did have snow just like two days ago. So, and then we went down to Vegas and it was hot and we've just been all over the place. So I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for spending some of it with me. If you enjoyed this video and if you think that you might enjoy some nail polish related videos, definitely subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up so I know if you liked it or not. And I'll see you back for the next one very soon. Bye!